Hello, Pokemon Go trainers. Elite Raids. So we just had uh, Mega Way Quasar Elite Raids Day, and that was bad. Now you can check out the video on the channel for more in-depth about that, but we have here a nice graphic by Pogo Central of the dates and just what went wrong with previous Elite Raids. So, Elite Raids, Hooper Unbound, pretty nice. Reggie Drago, Reggie Lucky, two new Reggie released to the game. Incarnate form Enamorous from Valentine's Day and then Mega Quasar. So Hooper Unbound, December 10th, 2022, November 13th, 2022, and October 16th, 2022. So one of the things that Niantic introduced with the Elite Raids was spawns advertised after that you would get after defeating the raid. And Canto Legendary Birds in a uh, 100 meter radius, something along the lines of that. And there were other themed spawns with Enamorous later on, but Niantic giving Wild Legendary Birds such a mess because they were spawning outside of the radius, which cool, but when you were given the idea, well, told the idea from the company that in this certain area you wouldn't have to leave to be able to get these le extra free legendaries for defeating Raid, for spending the time to be able to meet up with enough people because we're unbound. I mean, it's no Mega Raid Quasar, but it's not the easiest thing to take out. Now this was in 2022, which two years, almost two years ago, a lot less time for XL candies. I mean, like the XL candies were in maybe like a year at that point. Can't remember exactly, maybe longer, but more time this game has been around, more people that have powered up their their squads. And also because of Elite Raids, given these special Pokemon, more people have built more accounts. And I think it did probably work with 24 hour timer. May, may have actually worked for Hoopa, so that's nice. And the only way to get Hoopa Unbound before these raids were getting a special Hoopa. And there was a research which I never got, I, whatever happened, I did not, wasn't playing enough and or just didn't log in to get a research which allows you to change your form of your Hoopa, because Hoopa Unbound is a stronger form and the base form, which I'll show you later, is like a Victini Celebi caliber Pokemon in terms of power. One bound goes like over 4,000 CP, so that's significant power. And now the next Elite Raids, Reggie Drago, got two days of release, May 13th, 2023, and March 11th, 2023. It was 36, affected many players. Catch Circle was bugged, that's, that's fun, because when you spend the time to get together to defeat a raid, and you're having a I mean, if you're a veteran of the game, you know the tricks for setting the circle to then throw the ball after an attack to then have the ball hit in the circle. So that's 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 great. And rare spawns were disabled despite being advertised. Classic Niantic. And there was a time research advertised, but not given to many players after completing a raid. Wow. Defeating a raid to get a research and catch a Pokemon. Having problems with catching brand new Pokemon. Now, 
XL candies available. It's really difficult to get XL candies for mythical Pokemon. I mean, that's kind of the point. If you're like me, a madman who has done the grind for complete Zygarde, that's a pain. But also, you're able to save with XL candies, which is not easy to get. You have to do a lot of raids. And we have had raid days, which... I mean, Primal Ground, Primal Kyoga, you can get it. If you did enough raids, you can definitely get a decent chunk. But in order to get hundreds needed to level 50, Legendaries and Mythicals, that is crazy. And I've done a lot. And... Yeah, I mean, they are rare for a reason. Who knows how long until they become easier, like as easy as rare candies are right now to get. I mean, if you're a brand new player, rare candies are still as valuable as first release, but Reggie Lucky only had one release in raids, April 9th, 2023. And I'm pretty sure this was Easter. Like Easter, of course. I thought I I thought they had done a second day of this for some trainers in earlier time zones, maybe. But 24-hour timer in the raids didn't happen, and instead started appearing at 6 p.m. the day before. So that's 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 great. Arrow 32 affected many players. And many players experienced server issues before the 11 a.m. raids in EST time zone. So Reggie Lucky, the other new Reggie form. I mean, they're fun Pokemon. They're cool. It's nice seeing new Reggie types. Would be nice to get more EV illusions. A decade since Sylveon added. But that's that's Pokemon company. I can only add Pokemon that are already made. So not not, not a great with uh, Niantic, but yeah, I mean, their stubbornness on Elite Raids and putting putting a new Pokemon in Holidays. Like, I was lucky I was able to to be able to get some people and thankfully my dad is a I do play the game still with my dad. We don't play together as much as we used to, but it's nice to have family that plays. But if you're in a rural area and you're like one of the only people, yeah, maybe easy and fun being able to just win showcases left and right. Maybe you have 300 wins first places. The amount of premium items, amazing. But when you want to get brand new shiny Pokemon and you're only one account, even if you're 50, like, it's, it's rough. And thankfully, veggies are not game breaking, massively destroying Pokemon. But they're fun, they're brand new things. And we want to get a brand new Pokemon. That's what the long term players want when you have, like, 90, 90%, 95% completed like teams for each type when like theoretically pretty much you're almost perfect for counters on all of these types but you just don't have anyone else who's even close to that near you or just no one around which is the problem and now incarnate for Enamorous February 14th 2024 now, Valentine's Day is very love. It's it's a loving holiday, and this was in the middle of the week on a Wednesday. There were multiple times, and thankfully I was able to have the time to uh, go into a city to do a good amount of raids. It was fun, fun Valentine's Day, getting a brand new Pokemon, and. It's a fairy type, and it's probably the best of the, the group. Up until then, it was released for 
Master League. I mean, it's it's a pain to get the candies without being able to do enough raids to bring in a 50, but as a fairy type, it's got a pretty nice moveset. But also, it's going to have a better form. And it does have a signature move, which maybe at some point we'll get it into regular raids like Mewtwo. Mewtwo started out in, actually not elite raids, but EX raids, which is a better system. But problems, people had zero raids in the 6 p.m. local time, which when people are off work, people, probably the best time in the middle of the week because that's regular time for rain hour. So people who were like, okay, I can do regular, I can do rain hour for this new Pokemon, which is awesome. I mean, rain hours are great. They've been in the game for a long time and it's just a good set time. But also the choice of elite raids during the day, well, yeah. Wednesday, middle of the week on Wednesday, Valentine's Day, like, People also have plans for, for dinner, for celebrating the holiday with the family, with the partners, going on dates. It's like, and it's not just a holiday that, I mean, a lot of people just spend time to prepare to go out and don't just have time to just randomly go to a gym. And if you don't have a community taking a chance and almost surely wasting your time, Mess. Now the the spawns did work for an Amos. Nothing too crazy, but some some okay Pokemon for trying to get shinies of. But it's a shame. I mean, knowing I think they're going to release it in the next Valentine's Day, maybe the second form, maybe this form again, because that's what I think would do. And of course, Mega Rayquaza. No 24 hour time on elite raids. Early time zones had just not enough eggs. Australia, New Zealand, other early time zones just struggled. Yeah, just, just a mess. I mean, and they boosted it. They boosted Mega Rayquaza. I think the minimum it took to defeat Mega Rayquaza was four people. I think they boosted, like, gave it 22,500 health compared to the standard 15,000 health from a regular legendary and just like other elite raids. And Mega Rayquaza stats, it's, it's not easy. I guess it has a double super effective attack, weak weakness to ice. Like, yes. I, I mean, that's a very a relatively common type to be able to get, and long-time players, especially me with uh, some Shadow Mammoth Swines. But Outrage. If you have Outrage Rayquaza, it's a mess. It's an absolute uh, mess of a thing to take down. But it is the strongest Pokemon in the game. But we were robbed of a Mega Rayquaza Ray Day. Now, thankfully, there was a code to get a free meteorite for research. It did require defeating an Elite Raid. Other tasks on the research were easy enough. Nothing you can fault just else besides the needing to defeat an Elite Raid for meteorite, which you use it to teach Rayquaza Dragon Ascent, which it requires to Mega Evolve. Like the main series games. And there also was another free that everyone got. But being able to get some free meteorites. And there was a chance at def getting a lot more from defeating raids. But small chance. But thankfully there were guaranteed. Although if you uh, were unable to defeat any raids, you were out of luck. And... To get enough Mega Energy, they did thankfully only require two raids done, but you needed to do it like almost max group. I was able to get some max 
mega energy of 225, which for something that requires 400 mega energy to evolve. If you were just a little too slow and got like 200, like 175, that is rough and that is awful. Which is very possible because, I mean, ancient power is not an easy thing to take down from battling the Mega Rayquaza. Still, still, still a lot of damage. Outrage is a nightmare. I'm not sure what other moves could have gotten, but yeah, it's crazy. So these are my Pokemon I've gotten from my Elite Raids. So, Koopa Unbound, I was able to get a few. And I mean, it's a strong Pokemon. This is my best IV one. I like powering up Mythicals to 40 plus. I'm way off from the candies, XL candies. Otherwise, I would happily level 50 it, but... Also, I'd much rather a better IV one, which, I mean, I don't need, it's not the most necessary level 40, but when you have pretty much, like, all the, the rare candies, like, you don't need rare candies for anything else at the time. I mean, there have been a lot of more legendaries released. I've invested in since, 20, since the Hoopa, but... At the time, very excited. I had previously dumped the candies into regular Hoopa, which... Hoopa, yeah. I mean, I, it was from a special research from, I think, GoFest Mythical. And unfortunately, I mean... Unfortunately, this is my best IV one, finally enough, but also... I didn't get the research for that you needed to complete to be able to change a form, which would be so nice. And I was luckily able to get Regidragos, which is a cool Pokemon. It looks awesome. Regi Lucky, which very lucky. Now I did a good amount of Enamorous, and this is a nice Enamorous. I just like don't want to spend the candies to use it. I I did trade for one, but I may have to use it in a Ultra League for a video. Let me know if you want to see that, but in Mega Red Quasar, which I have some meteorites. Got a huge Mega Red Quasar, which is cool. It's a fun feature, just hunting getting huge and tiny Pokemon. But it's just... It's just a mess. If you were able to do Elite Raids, I hope you had fun. And I mean... Yeah. Okay. Well, Elite Raids... Niantic, unfortunately, did scrap Elite Raids. I mean, they're still able to get from gyms, but... See, see the what gyms are marked EX gyms. So was thankfully able to have a save some photos. So this was a, an EX way to invite, which Niantic gave out to random trainers who did raids at the gyms that were eligible to give out the invites and. It gave a date and time years ago, pre-COVID, from 2019, and was able to get Mewtwo. And they also did Regigigas for it, I'm pretty sure at some point. I never got any invites for that. And 2212, which 2278. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's Hundo. And you can see that nice icon, Elite Raid icon, no, EX Raid icon, much more fun. Oh, th this was from 2018, yeah. Old, old. But it was so exciting seeing Mewtwo and Raids. I mean, this was way before XL Candies. 
due to the power, the peak power. We had no Megas, we had no Shadow Pokemon. All the Shadows weren't, it wasn't going to be too long until they had Shadows. I think 2019, if I recall correctly. I was only a level 35 player. Wow. My buddy was Eevee, and they had, oh, well, they did have field research at that point. Nice, but was the best. And there was another EX invite, but the system was so much better. Now, nowadays, trying to get XL candies, that's still a pain, but guaranteed to like have a good amount of invites and you can coordinate outside of the game. Now, if they added a place where you could coordinate in campfire with an invite system like this, that would be really cool to release new Pokemon like Enamorous, the Reggies. And I mean, if Niantic do want to just do like a month of four rotations of like Mega Way Quasar to give people like the chance to get it done the first time, or maybe do like back to back raids so people could get enough energy the first time around. So they didn't have to hope for chance, but yeah, Elite Raids, no, EX Raids, way better. And if you did have, if you do remember, please let me know how your experience was. I mean, the power level is just absurd now in the game compared to just regular YouTube being the best. But thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video on the road to 1,000 subscribers. You can help that, please. Thank you to everyone who, who does and has subscribed. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.